Time now for your forewarn weather with Thomas Keyboy. Good Monday morning, Utah. Time is currently 612. We're going to begin with your weather headlines for today, which include cold nights and chilly days. Really not going to see too many changes over the next couple of days. While in our northern Utah valleys, our inversions will continue to build. The air quality not going to be the greatest today, not necessarily the worst. However, that air quality will likely worsen just that little bit more through the middle of the week. As we keep relatively quiet conditions in place for now, by the end of the week, though, into this upcoming weekend, we are in store to see some changes, so hopefully by the time we get into this upcoming weekend, we see the inversions leave and we bring back a decent chance of wet weather. We'll talk more about that in just a moment. In the meantime, here's a live look outside in southeastern Utah in Blanding, and we're to the point of the morning where we can see that glow over the horizon. You absolutely love to see it. Wouldn't be bad to get the sunrise to warm us up at least a little bit because it is cold out there this morning. Here's the current view from Park City Mountain, twinkling stars above. You can also see the moon that's getting ready to set below the horizon. In Park City Mountain, it's cold right now. The last check temperature where it was in the teens. It looks like right now that temperature sensor doesn't want to work, but Logan right now, you're sitting at a whopping 17. 26 in Salt Lake City, 14 in Cedar City, 31 degrees in St. George. Salt Lake City is actually one of the warmer spots along the Wasatch Front. There are even a few spots along the Wasatch Front this morning waking up with temperatures in the teens. Make sure that you bundle up as you head out the door and we'll be staying on the chilly side as we go from this morning into the afternoon. You can even see by 11 and 12 o'clock today, temperatures will likely be in the middle 30s and I think that we'll eventually see a daytime high in the mid to upper 30s along the Wasatch Front, but that's about where we'll end up 37 degrees in Salt Lake City and it will come with that increasing haze. And for most spots in northern Utah in our valleys, going to check in mainly with moderate air quality. The Uinta Basin still expected to be good air quality today, even though you will start to notice some of that inversion haze and either by tomorrow or Wednesday, you're also expected to fall into the moderate range. So that air quality, again, not likely going to be the greatest today and that haze just will continue to build won't be anything fun to look at and outside of the haze will get mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies that won't only be the case for northern Utah but that'll be the case down south daytime highs will mainly range in the 30s and 40s across the state however there will be a few spots like in Vernal that will see a daytime high in the 20s and you can actually tell that it's inversion season just because Salt Lake City and Park City will be very close to each other when it comes to temperatures 37 for Salt Lake 36 degrees in Park City then it'll be turning cold again tonight while Hebert today will actually be one of the milder spots in the northern half of the state by topping out at 41 in central Utah daytime highs ranging anywhere from 26 in East Carbon to 40 degrees in both Castledale and Green River while Richfield will top out just shy of 40 degrees at 39. Then down in southern Utah, daytime high hitting 38 degrees in Hanksville, 36 in Escalante, 35 in Bryce Canyon. Bundle up if you're going to go check out the hoodoos today, while St. George will see a daytime high of 53. Even tonight, though, in St. George will likely drop below the freezing mark once again. Let's go ahead and begin the future cast. We'll take you throughout this week because, again, we do have some changes on the way. High pressure keeps our weather quiet for today, and with those winds out of the north, daytime highs will be below our seasonal averages. As we go from Tuesday into Wednesday, this high pressure will start to move further to the east, allowing a little bit more of a southerly flow of wind, and our temperatures will come up slightly as we go into our Tuesday and Wednesday. In our northern Utah valleys, that warming will be kind of capped due to those inversions. However, I think Tuesday and Wednesday will bring daytime highs above averages for most spots across the state. And then for our Wednesday into Thursday, with that high pressure out of the way, this system coming in from the Pacific will have the potential to move into the beehive state. Still some question marks whether or not this will actually bring us some moisture. Hopefully, even if the system does brush by the state, it will help ease some of that inversion haze on its heels, though, by Friday into this upcoming weekend. A better chance that we'll see a storm system move through the beehive state, which will have a better chance of clearing out our inversions and also bring us a decent chance of wet weather statewide from Friday into Saturday with daytime highs that will likely ease back down a little bit. In St. George, we'll be in the low to mid-50s over the next few days. Overnight lows in the upper 20s and low 30s. And then by Thursday, we introduce a slight chance even in St. George with that chance of wet weather likely culminating into Friday with a chance for isolated rain showers with daytime highs easing back down to the upper 40s with overnight lows likely near or just below freezing. Then along the Wasatch Front, we get hazy conditions over the next few days. A little bit more cloud coverage in store for our Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Daytime highs by that point will be in the upper 30s and low 40s along the Wasatch Front. Overnight lows holding steady in the 20s. Then you can start to see that more unsettled pattern coming our way from Friday into this upcoming weekend with highs easing back down to the upper 30s with overnight lows staying in the 20s.